Hey gang, what's happening? Alright, well I did a Wi-Fi extender video. It's only going to interest a few people, I'm sure, but uh, they work. Um, I'm impressed. You know, 35 bucks and um, off and running to the races. I've got internet out here in the shop again. Could have just left that old laptop out here, but anyway, let's get off that subject. You guys notice I've got a shelf cleared here. And here are the engines. But these four were on that shelf. This is the uh, Model 8 that was recently given to me. And I'm not giving up on it. I'll find rings and get that sucker running. It was very, very nice of Steve to send that to me. Okay. Well, the reason I had to take all those off is because I put these three 16-horse engines on the shelf and then put that shelf in place. So I have to lift this shelf out get these engines out. So why am I getting those engines out? It's time to go through those engines and see which ones are salvageable and which ones are going to end up being parts. So we're going to do some engine videos today. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit as soon as I get a couple of them set up on the uh, test stand. Zippo! What's up gang? Well we've got the first of three out here on the workbench. And looking it over, you can see it has a brand new exhaust valve that hasn't doesn't have or intake valve that doesn't have much time on it same thing with the exhaust valve doesn't have much time on it cylinder board looks fan freaking tastic everything on this engine looks really good it's got a nice good hot spark right out of the box now this engine's been sitting on that shelf over there for about two years and i've not touched it uh, I just took a carburetor I had handy, stuck it on, stuck a starter generator on. You guys will notice this one has a ring gear, so it does have the option for a Bendix starter. Um, but we're just going to use the old-fashioned type here. So give me a few minutes, make sure that the oil's in good shape. I'll get the head back on. The old head gasket was in horrible shape, but... Oops! Not to worry, I've got quite a few here, so we'll get a new one on there, get the head bolts torqued down. All I did was drop the side cover here. And we'll see if this one's going to burp to life. Alright, now we've got to torque the head bolts, then I'm going to throw the compression tester on there and do a compression test on it real quick. So it's 190 inch pounds, guys. I repeat, 190 inch pounds. Six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. There's the last one. All right, let me get the compression tester out. We'll see how much compression we have. Now, my, I'm going to just take a ballpark guess that it's going to be between 90 and 110, which will give me 140 to 150 psi. Uh, which will make this engine good. Let me set that spark plug out of the way so it doesn't spark the gas that's in the carburetor and start a fire. That would be brilliant, wouldn't it? Come on, get out of the way. There you go. Okay. And just so you guys know, it's ice cold. I've done nothing with it yet as far as trying to start it. You guys are going to witness it with me. Are we ready? Let's see what we got. I might want to keep my sleeve out of the way. Ouch. Damn it. All right, we're pushing 80 PSI, and I'm okay with that. I'm all right with that. This engine will run. Get that cord out of the way. All right, give me a couple minutes to get set up. We'll start this thing, hopefully. All right, gang, we're all set. 
got everything done. Let's see if this sucker's going to start for us. Are you ready? I'm ready. I hope it's a good one. There'll be another one I can put on the shelf for a rainy day. Okay. Uh, cable. we we'll get carburetor. That's a joke. And contact. I just made sure that all the pieces were there, with the exception of the Welsh plug, obviously. But, hey, that's one down. Let's see if we can do something with those other two. 